Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna... I, this weekly is too easy to not crush, okay? I'm sorry. We, we experimented a little bit last week, that was fine. We had our college days where we got up to some, some shenanigans and like it was fun and I have lifelong memories and stuff like that. We got a goaded name, let's be a goaded team. I'm sick of losing to these uh, Siberian Husky teams. I say no more. Jacob Easy, living up to your name. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's the Attitude Era, okay? I'm making enemies, I'm saying things I regret. I'm trading my MG for a white Chrysler LeBaron. Freeze me an apple. That's the food I like. It's what I like. This is the food that I like. It's what I like. I'm quoting Bruno Mars. This is a good looking squad. It's, not a, it's certainly not a bad looking squad. We trade two units for kind of like three units of theirs. You're so lucky. You're so lucky. I'm gonna get you next time. I'm playing with a chip on my shoulder. I got a, one chip on my shoulder and the other one's at the bottom of a Lay's bag. <laughs> Any Alanis fans in the audience? Honey Badger. It's kind of a scumbag move. I kind of respect it. Why don't you feed me first? Why don't you buy me? Why don't you give me a camel because it's one of the better... No! Why don't you set it up like this? four squad me and then get a very tanky camel next and then use the tanky camel to send a this is not good to send a peacock or a kangaroo to the moon these this makes sense to me first start here freeze me can you give me something edible, please? Something a little edible? And then now we should run like you at the front. Well, maybe like you at the front and then like this. I think this is the way the squad looks for now. It's a little jacked up having the kangaroo so far back. 10 HP is pretty solid though. Hold on, the way we structured this, they may end up killing their peacock. No, not so much, okay. But kind of, not really at all, okay, but kind of. We made it. I like the way this looks right now. Eventually we want to combine these ants or just kill them all, I guess. But but for now, I love it. I don't really want to buy this while you two are still in the game here. But I have to. We have to, with only six gold, I think we have to do it like this. It didn't hit an ant. Even if the other one hits both ants, I'm thrilled. I almost got really mad, but <laughs> in principle, I would have been thrilled. In practice, no, uh, very upset. What is this team? Holy cow. Hey, save some geese for uh, Christmas dinner, uh, Mr. Cratchit. Is that uh, a, a, a Christmas carol? Pratchit? Cratchit? Trunchbull? Roll me. I don't, I don't respect it. I respect it. The it respector has logged on. I think you guys got to get combined. I don't really care what you do anymore. And you need to be set up like, like that. I really just should pill you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pill you. I'm gonna pill you. I'll take it. Now for one round, I can't cause it'll kill my kangaroo. For one round elephant. It's basically just here to maybe get an extra couple of triggers on our, an extra single trigger. Wait a minute. No, an extra couple of triggers. I would like to say thank you. Thank you to the seahorse who believed in me and made this run possible. If it wasn't for you, I think we would have drawn. Unfortunately, it was for you. You're just lucky you didn't have to face the kangaroo, man. That thing was going off. I'll can. That's, that's, a, that's an unbelievable can. You know what you could... Uh, phrasing? You know what you could also do is you could roll. And you could say... Um, Let's give you a 3-3 that also gives us a 2-2 two, two buff here and then just drop that on there instead. And there's a part of me that now thinks we actually set it up like this so that we kill, hope we, we put our strongest unit out of the box right up against you. Uh, this is unfortunate. <laughs> the sea, this seahorse did not believe in me. Um, that way it sets up like better optics for our camel. By the way, it turned out not to matter at all. 
Like, we'd expect that our camo would go up against weaker units, just due to positioning, but... I mean, you're, you're not getting triggers, so we might as well try to kill a toad, which are apparently very common. It's a poodle. A, a tier 1, a tier 1, a tier 3, a tier 3, a tier 4. I would sell my otter. You, you got close. We're not going to get as many buffs as I'm hoping for. But remember, we got we to gotta scale. We got to scale the team, okay? And remember what kind of scaling we go up against in the late game. Just a hint, there's a lot of it. Oh, you're a piece. Thy, thy kind are all of a piece, but you especially. Holy cow. The bus is going to get us killed. I don't believe it. What a name. Hit me? Hit me. And there's a part of me that says, no, the kangaroo behind the camel still makes sense. But the camel is not scaled fast enough. I'm going to try a triceratops instead. And it's admittedly, I'm not... I'm not suggesting this is likely to work. But the good thing about the Triceratops is now everybody is at least getting a buff. Instead of either the Kangaroo or the Camel getting a buff. The bad thing is um, everything else. It, it popping out of the ground as a, uh, as a base stat unit at this stage of the game. Are we dead? No, we got one more in us. And I, I, don't, feel like, I don't feel like this is that horrible. I feel like the Beatles gotta go, man. Like, we need, to, we need to scale faster. Dumping your best unit to make it happen is a little spicy. But the only way we're ever going to get to 10 is via the, the super scaling. So, I don't think 2-2 two, two for every unit on the squad is going to get it done. But I've, I've been wrong before. I've been wrong before. Buff me. Buff me. Okay, you're going to take a little snipe. Not little enough, though. That round should have been one of the hardest for us because of the pivot. It could get easier here, but probably won't. Octopus is very interesting, and it is a tier six. We could combine the poodles and run an octopus at the front, keep the dolphin further back. I really feel like we, we need to focus more on the Triceratops because the Triceratops is also the key to unlocking our kangaroo, but... We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I, I don't have an answer for you. I never hit the camel there, which is actually just incredibly good luck. And we, we squeak through. I say squeak because a couple less attack triggers, you never know what's going to happen there. But keep buffing you. You also do well with the buff, but you know what? You also do well with a pineapple. Never forget that. Snake is good, but I'm, I'm on a different wave right now. Double chocolate. First first chocolate goes here. Don't kill me now. Like, it, it would just be rude to give me that hope and then kill me. Because now I'm like, oh, we got, we got so much chocolate, we could do anything. We could even freaking lose to this team. We could even lose to this team. No, we're going to draw. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're on seven. Who needs the level? We don't know yet. Not the dolphin. Sure, a steak would be valuable. I'm, I'm keeping the whole shop frozen instead to try to get a pineapple. Mission failed. <sighs> okay, it hit the right units. I would say that's a bit of a bust, though. A bit of a bust on that shop. It becomes increasingly difficult to figure out how we're going to like get through these teams. It becomes increasingly impossible to figure out how we're going to get through these teams. That's a strong team. That way, I got to hand it to you on that one. You got a strong team. Snowwood didn't get beaten by like a scumbag or anything. It's just a strong team. It's been known to happen. I'm going to run a self-buffing moth. So this is one. Let me be a... Mm, sure. Nasty Nuts kind of a good name too. This is definitely a weekly where as of right now, I'm like, I feel like the early game, I'm doing okay. And I feel like in the mid game, I'm doing great. And then I feel like in the late game, it completely falls apart. So, what does that mean? <laughs> it's a great question. I don't have an answer for it at all. You think, like, I think that's the optimum way to set this team up. I don't know. 
I think I've got to... I got to do some soul searching. Give me the Beach Boys and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. <clears throat> Horse team. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Okay. Don't play on tilts. We're looking for a level. We got to get it on this roll. We didn't get it on this roll. So what's the best unit available? It's simple. It's a peacock. I'm going to pill the ant early. Sure. I think that makes you a great moth target. We're going to roll. We don't see anything valuable. We're going to roll again. Now we got two levels coming. I'm okay with that. We don't have to take them right away. And we don't even have to take both of them. That's the folly of moths right there. This We're going to... And if I didn't preface this earlier, I apologize. We're going to be in a bit of a rough spot for a minute here. Because we, we don't have great optics. But if I'm willing to go down to five or to possibly go down to five, then I'm not sweating it so much. Like if I'm willing to do this... And maybe, like, I don't know what we do with, with this. I don't think we just... Do we take a level right now? Sure, let's take a level right now. Um, just to get this unit out here. If we're willing to go down to five, then we're going to get a level next turn. And we've already put this plan into action. And then I think there, there exists a world in which we can make something happen. And we won anyway. I don't know how we won, but we won. Peacock's got to start popping. Level me. Very good unit. Straight up, just a great unit. Why don't you become the new moth inheritor? And then a giraffe. I'm very hard-pressed to purchase an apple for a peacock. This peacock needs to scale faster. But there's no scaling foods, really. They're all like random foods. Maybe an apple's good enough, man. Honestly. An apple might be okay. Because, not because it's that great, but because there's no other options. Okay, you're gonna get me. I'm upset by that, but you're gonna get me. Smart structure there with the, with the kangaroo. Love it. Scale me. Didn't scale the right ones, but that's okay, because there were limited opportunities. You know what? For now, take your apple. I'm anecdotally testing a hypothesis. We get the level on the turn when the level would actually matter. Maybe it gives me a scaler that changes the whole foundation of the game. But probably not. <laughs> oh, you piece of junk. Just a Every team is just a little bit stronger than me by just enough to make it like mathematically impossible to win. Now, you might as well can. A seal? It seems like it could be one heck of a scaler. And then you could sell a beetle, run a deer, sell a moth, run a seal, and then just start... Okay, okay, okay. We're looking for basically any food. An 811 level 2 peacock is probably not good enough, but what about two buses? How does two buses strike you? Oh, yeah, sure, you're generating a lot of HP. There's no doubt about that. Anyone could tell you that one. But look at this now. <clears throat> you're going to overwrite? You're going to overwrite me? Okay, overwrite this. Why don't you overwrite the 32 damage going straight to your horse piece? Now, a seal. Maybe. We don't need the level yet. Start me here. Nice little 2-2 two -two buff. Start me here. Nice little 2-2 two -two buff. It hit the peacock, that's all I care about. Why don't you start me here, a nice little 2-2 buff. And then next turn we'll get a level... Like, level 3 peacock is a bit of a pipe dream on 1 HP. This team looks scary. My deer got sniped. That's, like, fundamentally irrelevant to me. This is very relevant because I'm... Uh, staying into the game. So that feels fantastic. Now keep that seal pumping. You're going to level. You're not relevant. No offense. You're a little relevant because we, we get two buffs out of it. It's not much, but it's something. I want to use the seal to buff, but it, it, it's, it's non-functional right now. So I guess we're doing that. No real reason to freeze a snail. It's like, the, I don't know, maybe we should have gotten rid of the giraffe. I mean, it's literally just... 
It's like better, right? <laughs> to get rid of the giraffe in that situation, now that I think about it. They're generating almost the same kind of buff. Wait, save my life? Save my life, you piece of junk! Let's go! They quit it on the second hit. Oh, never mind. You genius. Friends with no food get two two buffs. Dude, look, you, it's impossible to, to keep you around. I'd rather just throw a second deer out there for now. I know that the, the leopard is, I just don't think it's good enough. And then I'm like, oh, five, three, two, four, four. Okay. We, we, the only reason I'm keeping a giraffe is because we already got a giraffe. Don't ever get that twisted. We could get a level two giraffe. It's just, it's not worth that much. Then what am I keeping it around for? You get rid of a poodle. You're buffing. You're buffing. You're buffing. Someone's getting the buff. We might as well sell the giraffe, buy a poodle. Chocolate your poodle and pray. How does my team look worse now? <laughs> Like, it doesn't make any sense. I sold those units, and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm like one-tenth the level of confidence I was a second ago. Oh, man, that Triceratops is going pretty hard. Pretty, pretty hard. You got a lot of, you got a lot of damage. We're gonna draw! Okay. Let's go. Keep me in here. This is at three wins. We're gonna have to fight for our freaking lives here, man. Bro. Give me something to buff, dude. Thank you. I mean, a moose is, is another buff. It's not, you're not wrong. You got to have a little, few too many level fives. But then right now we got too many level fours. So it's not really fundamentally that big of a change. You know what? I think you guys got to get combined. I think we do have to put a moose out there. Forget a level three peacock. Roll me. Holy cow. That worked out so much better than it had any right to. We're getting a 3-3 three, three buff from the moose. At least it's something. And he's going all in on scaling. You're strong, but you're not that strong. You're not headstrong to take you on. I'm starting to think you wouldn't even take on anyone, to be honest. I'm also starting to think that maybe like a chili pepper on our peacock is a, is a way to go here. Although garlic probably just saved us the round. Level me. Still good. Still good. Still good. Okay. You need to get rolled out of here. So we can roll for like one good food. I would still roll you out. Freeze me. Freeze me. Roll once more. See what your food is. Is it a pizza? I would say keep the steak frozen. Buy the deer. Pass back a 6-6 six, six buff. Unfreeze your tier 5. Still, I don't know. I don't know if we're scaling fast enough, but... I think we finally got kind of the right idea for the first time. Weakness. Weakness. The toad. It's so insulting, dude. The toad? Nerf this dude. Get him out of my game. Okay, the kid gloves are coming off. It's over for you. Just so you know. I'll, I'll, you think I won't run this team? You think I won't run and, and take this team all the way to the bank? You know, legend ghost. Like Casey Affleck in a ghost story. You gotta be. You gotta be? You gotta be a little bit better than that to stop me from getting the win in round one on this weekly. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Roll me. I want to see more ants. No ants? Okay, you know what? Give me a bluebird. You know what I learned about a bluebird? At least it's some form of scaling. It turns out that this uh, any scaling is very important. These games are being won by uh, by inches instead of miles. What a seahorse, by the way. I gotta, I gotta give you credit. What a seahorse you've created for yourself there. Screwed up my whole team, quite frankly. Probably would have done better just putting the ants at the front. But, here we go. Fantastic. I would honestly buy like a moth just to get closer to a level up and then put my snail on like this and then I shouldn't have sold. What was I thinking? Well, you know what? At least you're not going to inherit the gold from or the, the attack from the bird. It's a pretty bad move, though. 
<laughs> He's losing his mind. They're also running four squad, but am I crazy to think that my squad seems better? Not crazy, not crazy. Got a little lucky there. Maybe maybe some matchmaking. Give me this. I know it's a little it's a little silly. Give me this. Freeze me this. You should just take a meat bone while you're here, I think. I really I need to buck the trend cuz it's there's a perception issue. People think that I take the um the hedgehog because I'm memeing, because it's so humorous to take a hedgehog. I actually think the hedgehog, believe it or not, is overpowered for when it shows up in the game. Because it can destroy an opponent's squad with one unit. Like basically, if you have like a, a couple of moths or something like that feeding a frontline unit, the hedgehog just blows away your whole strategy. Which is probably for the best for you, because that strategy is not good to begin with, but so be it. Now I think, we actually want to set it up kind of like this now. Kind of like that. Could be wrong, by the way. Don't really want a pineapple a hedgehog right now. I respect you. That's the thing about you. I kind of respect you. Just for now. Why not? It's three gold. But I, I, I think a hedgehog is really good. Where you get into the danger zone is when you start running mm, multiple hedgehogs, like for example, hypothetically I'm doing right now. Um, or you uh, keep the hedgehogs way too late, even after they've clearly fallen off in the face of enemy scaling, and then like that's where you run into trouble. So you know what, let's just keep it at one hedgehog for now. And let's, let's respect what an apple brings to the table. I didn't, I don't want them. An apple, and like in a salad, I don't think they're that good, obviously. But I do think that given the foods in the early game, if you're happy with your units, ish, <laughs> then sure, you should take an apple. You need, you need something to keep the lights on, man. You're level two, that's, that's a sad story. You know, you need something to, to keep you moving forward. And uh, usually we'd rely on like a pair or something, but pairs don't exist. Okay, so uh, we're gonna be the scumbag we wanna see in the world. We're gonna say the otters serve this purpose. We're gonna buy a toad. Toad's gonna live. We're gonna give garlic to a moth, which is a, that's a new one. Get ready to pill your ant next turn. I'm not running two hedgehogs, okay? Don't, don't get your, don't get your theory crafts going here about how, oh, but if he just ran another hedgehog, look at what, I've seen what you've done for them, Lord, and I want it for myself. Come on. We can't win this one. It just, it, it, it's not in the cards for us. We can draw it, amazingly. In fact, never mind, we can win this one. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. It just looked unwinnable. Turned out to be pretty good. Get pilled. I got no problems running a deer out here. I don't even care that you're losing your melon. Like it's it's not it's not as relevant as I as I think you'd like to think that it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No pills? No pills. I mean we got pills, we got nothing worth pilling, I should say. This makes sense. Yeah. Me me lying to myself? Yeah, this seems good. Yeah, I see what's going on here. Never mind, it's incredible. I love beating a team with a toad when I have a toad. It makes you feel morally superior. I'm so sorry to tell you this. I still believe that a seal is good enough. I do. I think we just got... We got a bad run. We didn't get any foods that we respected or appreciated. And now maybe there's a chance that that's going to change. We got some HP to work with too, right? Level two. Oh no, level two. What the heck? Oh no. We spawned the unit in your face? Oh no, we're, we're done. What is this? What is this nightmare to me? This is the most incredible saber tooth tiger as a counter to the fact that there's so many deer in the meta right now. You genius. You mad genius.
please, please. We're getting so lucky on that right now. Level two seal would really tie the room together. I think that's that's what I'm praying for now. Oh my god. We actually might have gotten super lucky by you. Nope, no we did not. <laughs> Disregard what I was about to say. You're spawning a 1616 level one unit. Holy cow, these saber tooths are going hard, man. We must be on lethal now. We are on lethal. Level two? I mean, it's a 2-2 two -two buff for two units. It's a pizza. And then also, we could throw in a little steak on top of it. Pizza with a steak on top of it? Who says no? I have one excess gold. More chocolate for you? I, maybe this team is horrible. Maybe it is horrendous. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to read between the lines. I'm like, wait a minute. We're losing to every team. <laughs> every team I face, I'm like, I'm not even close. Does that seem right to you? Well, that was another bad one. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. I'll be back trying to solve the meta. I'll see you next time.